video, I'm going to demonstrate a new application of mine. It's experimental. It's called Debug. Debug serves the same purpose as Kill 'em All. Um, the point of it is to uh, bypass any malicious software that may be preventing you from running another application, uh, like a removal tool, for example. And you can see I cannot run D7.2. Kill 'em All may or may not take this out but actually I want to show you debug. Debug should run a bit faster than kill em all and it takes a far different approach than kill em all. It doesn't terminate Windows processes. What it does in fact is attempt to remove all startup uh, areas that malicious software can run, uh, fix a couple of things that malicious software may take over, and immediately restart the system. So we'll just run that right now and see what happens. And you're going to get some failures. That's just going to happen. But if you're quick enough, debug will restart the computer. If debug restarts the computer, it's already done its job, at least phase one, and that is to prevent the application from running, the malicious software. It's also going to prevent tons of legitimate applications from running as well so there is an undo feature what you need to do is use debug to successfully do its magic restart the computer the malware should be gone as you can see here there's no malware popping up and when you remove the malware you will perform the debug undo and then do a reboot make certain that you have removed the malware before you do the debug undo once the debug undo is done everything goes back to normal and the malware can come back so I hope this has been an informative video for you if you have any questions about it uh, drop me a line foolishtech at foolishit.com and you can pick this up on foolishit.com in the uh, tech software section or tech utilities or something like that. It'll be there. I hope this has been informative. Thanks for watching.